You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. We begin with a big change in the works for people who use and make electronic cigarettes. The FDA is taking a bold move and cracking down on every step of their manufacture, marketing, and consumption. ABC's Taman Bradley joins us now from Washington with more. Good morning, Taman. Good morning, Diana and John. This is something the federal government has been working on for years. There's virtually no federal oversight of electronic cigarettes, which more and more people have been using for a quick high. They've been called a safer alternative to cigarettes, and they're wildly popular. E-cigarettes, those battery-powered devices that give users a nicotine high from a vapor. We think that the harm is less than with a traditional cigarette. Maybe. E-cigarettes don't have tobacco tar found in traditional cigarettes, but it's not clear what's in them. That's because since they burst into the U.S. back in 2006, they've gone unregulated. The federal government wants to change that. Right now, it's like the wild, wild west in terms of what people are doing. The products are evolving with, with you know, no regulatory oversight and being marketed um, in ways that are very worrisome. This morning, the FDA is proposing new regulations for e-cigarettes. Under the new rules, e-cigarette sales would be banned to people under age 18. A warning label would be placed on the devices, and e-cigarette manufacturers would be required to tell the FDA what's in their products. We don't have the answers we need about e-cigarettes and their role in the marketplace and their role in health and disease. Public health officials are especially worried about protecting children. E-cigarette manufacturers use flavors such as bubblegum, pineapple and vanilla, flavors that could attract kids. The proposal would also place pipe tobacco and cigars under the FDA's authority to regulate. For now, the FDA is not seeking to ban the marketing of e-cigarettes on in TV ads or online, but the FDA says it could look at that in the future. John and Diana. ABC's Tamon Bradley, live for us in Washington. Thank you.